Hey everyone, this is Matt with Motion VFX, and today we're bringing in business to DaVinci Resolve. So this pack includes 56 titles, graphs, and charts that really bring your data to life in a professional style. You kind of just throw the data at them and they do all the calculations and animations for you. It's a lot of fun. Let's go ahead and jump inside Resolve and take a look. Okay, so once you have InBusiness installed, it can be located up here in your effects tab under titles, you will see InBusiness. And from here you can see we've got a bunch of different charts, some miscellaneous graphs and maps, some placeholders, and some other typography presets. So let's start off with this very first candlestick chart here. I'm just going to drop this right on top of the footage in my timeline. And you can see we get this really nice animation comes on and presents all of this data. Now over here in the inspector, we've got a bunch of different controls for this particular chart. So under the content controls here, we can move the entire chart wherever we want to. We can also enable the fusion overlay in this drop down menu here and just grab this center control point, position this wherever we'd like. And then we can also scale like this. Now under the chart controls, you can see we've got a number of columns slider here. So as we change the number here, we can also increase the spread so that it realigns with the chart there. So in this case, if I only wanted to have seven points of data along the X axis, I could also come down here. You can see this is the text that makes up this bottom row here. I'm just going to go ahead and delete eight of these. So now we've got a data point for each of these candles and same thing on the Y axis. This could all be customized as well. We can customize the thickness of each candle as well as the wick, which is this kind of center skinnier line in the middle there. OK, so underneath the chart controls, you also have a candle control for each of the candles. Now, I only have seven, which means everything past eight will not do anything. But let me just expand candle one so you can see kind of what kind of controls we have. So obviously we can move the position of the actual candle as well as the wick. So you have full customization of how you present this kind of data. And again, that will animate on beautifully like this. So this could be used to kind of break down the revenue stream across a year or, you know, all kinds of different data. Now let's take a look at this components map here. So I'm going to put this right on my footage. And by the way, if you have footage like this and it makes it a little bit difficult to read, you can always go into the color page and I'm just going to blur that footage a little bit like this. That way we can kind of see this a little bit better here. Now, the neat thing about this particular preset, if you turn on the fusion overlay for this one, you can see we've got these control points. And if I grab these little handles, the word sticks to the end of each of these lines. So if you had some footage or some kind of graph underneath this particular chart, you can kind of map it out and align this with your footage. And each of these segments have, you know, the basic controls. So obviously you could change the text for each of these. You could also change the thickness of each of these lines. So you could give each of these an individual color. So again, lots of customization. And here's what the animation looks like on that one. And that's pretty much how each of these charts work. So taking a look at this one, you can see we've also got individual segment controls for each of these segments. Under the chart controls, we can choose the number here. And if we choose something like eight, we could also spread the segments like this to kind of compensate for fewer segments if we needed to. We can also take our fusion overlay and just move this entire thing. And the neat thing about this one, it's got this box count. So you could control, you know, if you only wanted to show five boxes here, let's actually make this a little bit bigger. So if you wanted five, you can also spread these out and you can also change the colors. So maybe I can do like a white outline, make it a little bit thinner. So once you have the overall chart designed, then you can go down to each of these segments and adjust their values as well as the text font, all the usual stuff that you would expect. And here's what the animation looks like on that one. Pretty slick. Here's a really cool one. This line graph here gives you kind of an X and Y chart. So let's put this right over this footage here. And same thing here, if we turn on the fusion overlay, you'll see we've got these little control points where we could really design the exact trajectory of this line. And it will always animate along those points that we define here. You can also input the coordinates manually under the line graph controls. And you can see this one has a subtle gradient to it. 
We can make this more extreme if we wanted to go from like a, you know, green to kind of this purple. And of course, all of these animations will last however long you make this clip. So you can see it'll animate on at that same speed and it will last for the duration of this entire element here on my timeline. And then towards the end, it starts to animate back out. And just like with most of our presets, you can individually turn the in or the out animation off. So if you just want it to animate in, you can just keep the in toggled on and then it will last. And then you just simply make a cut. Let's say we just wanted to cut into this shot with no graph on there with our out toggle turned off. We don't have that out animation. Now take a look at this multi graph preset. Now this one is pretty busy, so I'm just going to actually put this right over here in empty space so it's a little bit easier to read everything that's going on. In fact, I'm going to skip a little bit ahead and just put this blank background here, which will kind of give us a little bit more of an interesting background there without kind of distracting from the chart. OK, so coming up here to this multi graph, you can see under my graph controls, you can see I can also change the segment count with this little drop down menu right here. But this one also has a graphs number, which gives you different controls. So if you just wanted to show one piece of data up to five pieces of data, how they all interact with each other, you could do all of that here. Of course, you can customize each individual text element that appears down here on the X axis. And then coming down here to each of these graph controls, this is where you can adjust the title as well as the color. And what's cool is when you adjust one color, you can see the legend here changes as well as the line that corresponds. And then coming down here is where we have these individual point controls. And you can really plot out the exact trajectory of each of these lines. So this could be perfect for kind of showing, you know, certain business related trends over time. So really nice. Now with this background here, I'm just going to go ahead and turn off both animations. That way we just have this straight background. And let's go ahead and just extend this pretty far out so that we can put on some more titles here and kind of compare different charts. OK, and I also want to show you this country chart here. This one's pretty cool. So we put this right here on my timeline. Now with this one, you can see under the map controls, we have this country drop down menu that has pretty much every country from around the world. And you can kind of toggle through here, choose your country. They are in alphabetical order. And you also have this fill amount slider right here. So you can kind of have this graph if you're trying to show a percentage of the population in a specific region in the world. You can kind of dial that in here. And this dot control shows you this specific location here, which of course you can position this wherever you'd like. You can also use a fusion overlay and grab the control point if this is a little bit easier. And you can also grab this center control point here and move the entire map along with the title and everything. Speaking of the title, that's going to be up here in the title controls. So you can type in whatever you want to in this text box here and that will animate on beautifully like this. You can see this bar scales up to that desired percentage. And a lot of these have some pretty clever math going on under the hood. For example, this range bar, let me go ahead and put this right here on my timeline. And you can see this one gives you these nice glowing points along a range. And what's cool about this one, if you come up here under the range controls, you can see we've got an overall range slider here, which defaults to 100. We also have a minimum and maximum point here. So you can see if I slide this around, it changes the location, the number here, as well as the average number here. So it does the math for you. And if you go ahead and choose something like 200, well, now if I type in 0.25, that will be 50 because this is basically doing a quarter of this total right here. So all the math works out perfectly. You can even do math inside of these boxes. So if you don't know the exact amount, I could type something, for example, 0.25 divided by two. That will give me 0.125. So you can type in very specific math equations in here to get exactly what you're after. And the whole time you'll see this average number up here averages out between these two values. And of course, we got all the normal controls to go along with it. So we can adjust the gradient if we need to. So pretty easy to use, pretty easy to customize. And again, that's how pretty much all of these work. So this progress bar number one, I'm just going to override the one we already have. This one doesn't have an average, but if we go down here to progress controls, we can just type in a percentage in 
the percentage of this line matches with the percentage that we input in this value here. So 13% gives us a 13% size along this entire range. 100% obviously will fill up the entire line. This whole pack really does the math for you, making it really intuitive to show that data in a beautiful way. There's also this world map. This one has the entire globe. Each country kind of expands and fades in at different times. And we've got these labels, so we can also input these numbers that appear in each of these boxes. You can change the color of each continent. All right, so let's take a look at these placeholders down here. Now these make for great lower thirds or other kind of titles. Let's just grab this credit card details preset here. So this one's got an account balance right here. So under the account value, you can actually enter that in manually right here. So we could say something like 5,000 and it will count up to that number. And this little logo is just a placeholder. So if we go up to our logo controls, we can actually browse for an image or a logo. So I'm just gonna choose a logo like this and maybe we can scale it up and position it. And we can actually use the content controls to position the entire card detail preset. We also have this partners preset here and this one gives you eight different drop zones. So under the logo controls, you can browse for individual logos here. And these don't necessarily have to be logos. You could also put in images, maybe portraits of everyone in a team, for example. If you have less than eight logos or images, you can also lower this logo count slider like this. And we also included a spread slider here to kind of realign the logos to match whatever kind of layout you're after. Now, let's say you've configured this and this is something that maybe you wanna use in multiple video projects. You can also put this in your power bins in your media pool here. So I'm just gonna open up my power bin. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new folder. Let's just call it M Business. And I can just drag this title straight into my power bins. And now that preset lives inside of every single project. So in the future, if I start a brand new project, I can just grab this M Business Partners preset straight from my power bins and it will come with everything configured the way I originally created it. And this goes for everything in this pack. So you can design and change the colors and kind of just save them to a default location within your power bins. That way they live everywhere in every single project. You don't have to keep on rebuilding these presets from their default. Now, lastly, let's take a look at these typography presets. Now, some of these are pretty simple, but very elegant and useful. You can see this one kind of just fades on a sentence from left to right. But we also have kind of these full screen breakdowns, which of course you can edit every single thing that you see here on screen. And then we have a bunch of these simpler ones that you can kind of trickle on throughout and kind of combine and use together with other titles and graphs. I really like these very simple lower thirds. Let's go ahead and put this one right over here on some footage and see how this looks. Really nice. All right, well, that's gonna do it for this video. You can check out M Business in the link in the description below. This is available for both DaVinci Resolve as well as Final Cut Pro. So I hope you enjoy. Thank you guys for watching this video and we will see you in the next one.